Hi, this is Alex from livingmevidaloca.com and today I'll be making um, beer can, a smoked beer can chicken using Montejo. We're going to start off with making the rub. And um, to the rub uh, we're going to add um, brown sugar, dried mustard, two types of paprika, regular paprika, and um, smoked paprika because it's a smoked beer and chicken recipe. Um, smoke chipotle chili powder and then um, some regular chili powder. So we'll go ahead and mix this up and then rub it on our chickens. Now that we're finished mixing the rub, we're gonna add some salt and pepper. That's yummy. And mix again. Let's And now comes everybody's fun part. You're gonna get your favorite beer, gonna open it up, and take a few swigs until it's about half gone. Now we're gonna place it on a plate or one of the, they sell holders at the store, but in this case we're gonna use a regular plate. Um, we're gonna take our chicken um, and insert the can into the open cavity of the chicken. Um, and this is basically going to serve as a, a, a holder as we put on the, the rub. And there it goes. What do you guys do? Don't be shy. So... It looks funny. Looks like we put the rub We're going to place some of the rub um, directly into the cavity. The open cavity. Um, and... Now we're going to go ahead and start getting our hands dirty. I'm going to take off my, my ring. And we're going to start uh, applying the rub um, all around the chicken. So this will take a few minutes. In the meantime, uh, go ahead and get your grill uh, preheated to uh, medium high um, or about 350 to 375 degrees fully um, rub the chicken. We're going to go ahead and place it directly on the grill. A little bit. Use the legs as a stand if you have to, if you're having trouble with it. There you go. So I'm going to be placing three on here, that's why it's all the way to the left. Okay, so now we're uh, done, or we, we're done with the rubbing process, and they're on the grill. We have three of them because we're having people over. Um, it takes about 60 to 75 minutes, um, so I'm going to go ahead and close the lid, and then um, be back in about an hour or so. Close the lid. So about 90 minutes passed, so let's go ahead and check them out. So I'll just make sure to check the temperature and, and that they're fully done. We have to get closer then. So now we're going to do the uh, most uncomfortable part and take the chicken can out of the uh, cavity. Got some strong tongs. And just pull it right out, and then if there's any left over, just pour it right on top. And we're done. Uh, thanks for watching. LivingMeVidaLoca.com.